Hello everybody, so I have another video for you guys today. Um, this was requested by somebody for me to do this. Requested twice, so I'm gonna do it. I forgot the user's name, but I'm, I'm sorry if you got your name if you watch this video. But he requested to see my Hoover Sprint Quick Vac. As he told me that his is not working great, so okay, I'll, I mean, I'll do a video on it. Since I have it, I've had this thing for a long time. I got it at Walmart. Not at Walmart. Oh, I knew I was going to say that. Target. A few years ago. A long time ago. Whenever I bought it. So it's just a basic, simple little vacuum. You have three high adjustments low, carpet bare floor, medium carpet. Then you have high carpet. I keep it on low carpet because it is the best. There's my cat, obviously, Archer. He's always bothering me sometimes in the videos. If you go look back, sometimes he's popping up in there, so. And he's afraid of vacuum, so. Uh, yeah. So, the yeah, this, it's bagless, as you can see. Um, it has a filter check on it, so when the filter's clean, it obviously stays green. And then when the filters are dirty, it'll turn red. So, there's a filter under here. As you can see, there's the paper filter, and there's the actual sponge filter, and that's dirty. <laughs> I think I only used this thing once, and then, yeah, I only used it once, and this was clean. Now this is dirty, so that's telling you it doesn't have that good of um, filtration in it, which, eh, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it really doesn't surprise me. And now I don't know if this goes back in like this. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it goes back in there like that, and then you shut it. Underneath here, and the cap went off. Underneath here, you have another filter. Just another foam filter for the motor. That's pretty much clean. It's always probably going to be clean. Unless you do something stupid, which I doubt people do. that's in the place um you have obviously your on and off switch you have this little tool that pretty much everyone knows and loves and probably hate the 2-1 crevice tool and dusting brush now this is actually not really that bad of a tool but it does an okay job for its purposes and it just stays on the back of the machine like that, you have a hose right here, which has a clip on uh, the clip where you release it and snap back in. And so it's a stretch hose, and you can actually attach it to the handle, which is part of the wand, which is in there. Then you release this button, and then now you have. Well, let me see. Let me get it off my butt. Yeah, so it's not that long, but it's an okay size I guess probably looks longer in the video but anyways yeah it just goes back how it was very simple and easy um obviously you have your cord on the back bottom um yeah this is the weird Looking, wow, is that slip easily? <laughs> Probably the belt needs to be changed, I don't know. But the brush still moves just fine. But this is the brush. It kind of looks like a Dyson DC-07 brush. My opinion now that I'm looking at it, but maybe a little bit different. But, it still runs good. So, obviously, you know what's going to happen, I'm going to run it. Um cord undone um yeah the cord's not that bad of a length as you can see gosh shakes I'm always afraid with these on off pedals I'm afraid that I don't know if it's on or off I'm afraid it's gonna turn out on me which it has happened to me before plenty of times so 
Alrighty. How you release it is you put your foot in the front, let it lean back, and then power on. So let's go. Yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, so does a good job at cleaning. So yeah, so this is just another one of my reviews of one of my vacuums in my collection. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from me. And have a good day, everybody. Bye.